Okay, um, Fiji has a lot of different parameters. Uh, sometimes it's very hard to find them, so if you look in some of the menus, there's sub-menus and then things go deeper and deeper. Um, you could spend a long time looking around trying to find all these. Uh, you should find, if you've downloaded the latest version, that there is a command finder. So if we want to know how to duplicate an image, we can type it in there, it will tell us a path to it, we can select the right one, and then hit run. Uh, I mentioned earlier on, if you accidentally open up 100 images, rather than clicking through all of them, you can go to File, Close All, which is Control shift w on a, on a PC or Command Shift W on a Mac. Uh, the other thing we need to watch out for is what our image type is. So at the moment, we've got an image type. As I mentioned, our image is a 32 bit. Um, in some of the examples where we're playing around with color, when we're saving something that we want to use in Word or PowerPoint, we're probably going to need to convert that to an RGB color. So just remember your final step before you're saving, if you want to use it in Microsoft Office, you should save your images, image type, RGB color. Uh, one of the other tools we use quite a lot are stacks, which can be found under image, stacks. And this allows us to take something like this Z stack and convert that into individual images. So again, if you want to split out um, into individual Z stacks, you can do that using that tool as well. In terms of screen real estate, um, so you notice I already re resized this image. We're doing that just using the plus and minus buttons on the keyboard to make things a bit smaller. Um, also, before you make any modifications to things, I normally recommend that you duplicate them. So um, make sure, Fiji always works on active windows, so make sure you've got the window you want active. And then you can go to image and duplicate, control shift D or command shift D, or again, you can right click and duplicate on the image itself as well. Let's just show you that comes up asking you to give it a file name. Uh, what do you, do you want to duplicate the hyperstack or do you want to remove one of the channels, etc.